Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. You've probably heard of the Cars franchise and its amazing characters. Several cars and characters in these movies were based on or inspired by actual real-life cars. Here are 10 cars in real life. Wait till the end to see who is Lewis Hamilton and Lightning McQueen. Number 10. Doc Hudson Starting with the car, the myth, the legend, Doc Hudson. Even though his racing days are long behind him, Doc's advice always brings tears to our eyes and keeps our adrenaline pumping. He was once one of the most famous race cars in history. He won three Piston Cups in a row and still holds the record for most wins in a single season. However, it all changed for Doc when he was involved in a terrible crash during the final lap of the 1954 Piston Cup Championship race, which saw him put out of the race and eventually ruined his career. He had to resort to giving advice to younger cars. Doc Hudson isn't any normal car. It's clearly based on the 1951 Hudson Hornet, and they even made sure to follow the general color scheme associated with the vehicle. This car is a classic, and it is part of the reason they chose to use this vehicle to fulfill this role. Like Doc, this car was also used for racing and was virtually unbeatable at the time. Just like Doc, it was a champion on the track and has become a big collector's item ever since. Isn't it beautiful? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Mac One of our controversial opinions is that even though Optimus Prime is one of the greatest Transformers, he's still behind Mac from Cars when it comes to trucks. Voiced by Pixar alum John Ratzenberger, Mac is one of McQueen's oldest friends and his main transport from race to race. A big old truck who's a little clumsy but still has a heart of gold, Mac is a team player and loves to be on the road. Mack is actually a 1980s-era Mack Superliner truck. However, his smokestacks are behind the cab instead of between the cab and the sleeper, like most long-hood trucks. In its time, the Superliner was the best and only truck used for transports, and oh, what a machine it was! It's still highly used because of the power and durability it provides. That's the same truck that NASCAR used to transport cars for decades. Number 8. Fillmore Fillmore is one of the funnier and slow characters of the Cars franchise. He reeks of peace and love, which is why he was modeled after a 1960 Volkswagen Type 2 bus. Due to the fact that those buses were painted by a band of hippies, they were nicknamed the Hippie Bus. The movie makers made sure to give Volkswagen credit for this iconic bus and copied all the details perfectly to create this one-of-a-kind character. He had the chrome lights and a multitude of windows, as well as the laid-back attitude like the people who used to own these vehicles back in the day. Have you ever been inside one of these? Number 7. Sarge Next on our list, we have Fillmore's good and faster friend, Sarge. If you know your history, then you would recognize Sarge as a 1942 Willys MB Jeep. These bad boys were first used in World War II, which is also the reason behind Sarge's 41WW2 plate number. After the Willys Jeep beat out other companies for the military contract for the World War, they began popping up like flies. Sarge is as tough as the vehicle was back then, as it faced off against enemy troops. This character might not be in the war anymore, but he still shares his knowledge with the students who attend his boot camp in the movie. Number 6. Luigi If there's one vehicle that McQueen relies upon most during his race, it's most likely Luigi. Luigi started out owning a tire shop back in Radiator Springs, but eventually became a member of Lightning McQueen's pit crew. Luigi has a kind heart and a very colorful personality. 
He wishes to sell his tires to cars and gets upset when no car buys a tire or wants them even for free. This Ferrari-obsessed car is loved by everyone in the car's fan base. Luigi is a yellow 1959 Fiat 500 with chrome rims, a black sunroof that's modified to look like his hair, and brown eyes. If you've been to Italy before, you've probably seen a lot of Luigis on the road, asking other cars if they need tire changing. Another interesting thing about Luigi is that its number plate represents the longitude and latitude of Modena, the birthplace of the legendary Ferrari. This shows how big of a Ferrari fan he is. Same Luigi, same. <laughs> number 5. Mater Lightning McQueen has a lot of friends, but John Toe Mater, who's voiced by comedian Larry Whitney, is his one and only best friend. A tow truck who's seen quite a bit of mileage and has been on road all his life, Mater may come across as a typical small town bumpkin, but he's arguably a favorite among Cars fans. He's a little rusty, but it closely resembles a 1951 International Harvester L170 boom truck. Tow Mater isn't a simple being though, because he also takes some design aspects from a 1957 Dodge truck. He might be missing his hood, but that doesn't mean we failed to see the similarities in his wheels and truck bed design. That truck was and is still used as a towing vehicle since it first came out. Number 4. Strip the King Weathers You just know someone named The King is going to be a cocky character without even watching the movies. This Dynaco Blue veteran race car is voiced by none other than real-life NASCAR Hall of Famer Richard Petty. Weathers has great character development in the movies. In the first film, he played a bit role as the Piston Cup's incumbent champion nearing retirement. Sadly, towards the end of the film, an accident left him badly injured. Torn between his old selfish desire to win and newfound kindness, McQueen himself gave up the chance at victory to carry Weathers across the finish line. Weathers is a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. It was a highly modified, short-lived vision of the Plymouth Roadrunner back in the day. Even in the 1970s, the Superbird was one of the more unusual looking cars ever to go on sale. Have you ever seen this one on the road before? Number 3. Sally Carrera Next on our list is the car which has the closest resemblance to her real-life counterpart. Her last name even holds a piece of the original 2002 Porsche 911 Carrera's name. When you watch the movie, she even sounds like her counterpart with the same 320 horsepower engine that goes to 60 in less than 5 seconds. And people say girls can't drive. Sally Carrera is McQueen's lawyer turned girlfriend. The movie makers even added subtle touches like the Porsche logo on her hood and the name of her vehicle under the spoiler. The production team made sure that we knew this car was made by none other than Porsche. But it wasn't all that easy. When Cars was in development, Sally was to be a Mustang. She was then changed to a Porsche because the grill made her look more ladylike. At the time, Pixar decided that Sally would be an old Porsche car, but sometime later, Bob Carlson, who was a publicist for Porsche, wanted them to have her as the current Porsche 911 Carrera model for publicity purposes. The lines on the Porsche are also what makes a Porsche car fit for Sally to be based on. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Lightning McQueen The star of the Cars franchise and our hero, Lightning McQueen is undeniably its most recognizable character, not only in the Cars franchise, but also in the Disney Universe. Without him, the Cars movies wouldn't even exist. However, as easy as it is to recognize McQueen, it can be difficult to recognize the exact vehicle he's based on. In truth, Lightning McQueen is not based on a single vehicle, but a combination of different models. According to one of the Cars designers, Bob Pauley, when the movie was in production, they took the best of their favorite things, from GT40s to Chargers, and while just sketching them out, 
they came up with what McQueen looks like today. Still, some of the most prominent design choices for McQueen are drawn directly from the Chevrolet Corvette C6 and C1. Whatever car he's based on, McQueen truly is the most legendary car out there. Number 1. Lewis Hamilton And finally, at the top of our list, we have the seven-time Formula One champion himself, Lewis Hamilton. You'd be surprised to know this, but this car is actually voiced by the real-life race car driver, Lewis Hamilton. The British driver was even given the option to choose his character's final colors. The car in the movie that's voiced by Lewis is not really a Mercedes like the one he drives himself in Formula One, but a McLaren 12C. It's nothing to laugh at either. They had this car down pat with the wheel design and the rear spoiler, but they did give it some sharper edges like other exotic cars. All we know is both cars, real and animated, are fast as an inferno, with top speeds that have the ability to win races. No wonder Lewis Hamilton was chosen to be the driver. Which one of these cars is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.